Hey, welcome back, YouTube friends and fellow musicians. So, um, this squire was modded and it was uh, purchased along with the one here in the background um, with my trade in. And um, this originally had a white pit guard with a, a squire humbucker, and these are the original single coils, they are ceramic. And so my plan was, I've had this um, DiMaggio Hot Rails pickup. Um, uh, let me let me double check to see exactly which one this was. Okay, yeah, so it's the chopper. And I had this, I ordered it quite a, a while back and it was just sitting in the box. And then the pick guard, uh, I ordered for Timu quite a while back too. And it just kind of sat in the box with my... Um, other pit guards that have been off and on used for projects. So this was a simple mod. Now, when I went to Guitar Center San Marcos, um, uh, I have thought about, you know, I want to get this, I want to utilize this humbucker, this, uh, but I didn't have a, uh, a cheap guitar to kind of really to uh, apply it to. So when I was there trading my guitars, I saw this one hanging on the wall. It was pretty dirty, pretty scuffed up. And um, I played it as it was. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with this one. So this is a 2008 uh, Fender Squire. It had a decent really neck. It had a nice neck. It's got some nice grains, uh, good tuners, you know, nice body. Um, nice, nice dark piece of rosewood. And... Um, you know, so it's an affinity. It's it's nothing crazy, um, and so all I did was, um, you know, to incorporate this. I was like, well, okay, so let me get a blue on blue thing going here, and this is perfect. I mean, it really stands out with the white trim. Um, this DiMaggio chopper um, really stood out, and I'm just using the original parts, the original selector, you know. Um, I didn't have any fret spurs, so I just polished the frets, hydrated the neck. These are simple things you can do um, when you're looking to mod uh, a Fender Squire, depending on what you're trying to achieve. For me, I just really wanted to get this Hot Rails um, in, in use rather than just sitting <laughs> in its container. So I did all of that, you know, I did the intonation and I ran into um, the thing with the saddle screws being way too long. So uh, I realized uh, a while back that I had bought uh, this package from Amazon, these saddle screws, and they come in, I think, two or three sizes in a package. And they come like 24 or something like that, or 36 in a, in a package. And what they're really good for, so if you have one of these typical... Squires or even a typical fender bridge and the saddle screws are sticking out and they're kind of digging into your hand when you're palming These saddle screws are really great because they're standard they go right inside and It'll eliminate all of that. So you don't really have to change out your saddles These particular uh, squire saddles have the groove built into them so they're not so typical like the the standard fender uh, saddles that are just rounded over but nonetheless um, this will save you a little bit of money you can just change the saddle screws and get rid of all of those ones that are sticking out they kind of dig into your hand and it makes palming really uncomfortable um, what else can I say about the mod well when I first got it all dialed in cleaned up blah 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 um, I was kind of wiring it kind of based off of what the insert of the of the container for this pickup said. Come to find out it really wasn't the right way to configure it. Um, you know, so a couple of the wires got, you know, soldered incorrectly. And so I went to the website and looked at a, a few diagrams and figured out that this, um, I was going to try a different diagram which was a little bit more specific to the question you know um so after i went back in unsoldered and then resoldered a few of the wires yeah it totally corrected itself uh, i created a jumper for the tone 
um, for the chopper DiMaggio and this is the result um, and I want to give credit to um, ceramic pickups you know and not all of them sound bad I think some of them the really cheap ones coming out of China with maybe the magnet on the bottom not on the sides don't really have a lot of good tonal properties but these ones have the magnet on the side and from 2008, I think they do a really good job. And I do have ceramic in a couple of my other strats. And I'm really happy with those, um, with the tone coming out of those. So nothing against ceramic pickups, you know. You, you do end up getting a little bit more of that 60 cycle hum. But it really comes down to, you know, the, maybe the amp you're using, maybe the settings you're using. Um, there's a lot of different variables to that 60 cycle hum. Uh, if it's a really cheap, you know, ceramic pickup, chances are there's no getting away from my really bad 60 cycle hum. But these don't really have a lot of that going on. So let's listen to um, what they sound like. <laughs> Now I'm in the bridge. Let me readjust this camera, kind of get a better, a little bit better view. Okay, so right now I'm in the bridge. This is the chopper. So I can dial down a little bit of that brightness. Position two. All right, middle position. Okay, position four. They sound really nice, guys. And then the neck. The ceramic on the neck pickup sounds really, really good. Um, it's got a lot of bottom end, a lot of clarity. position.
back to the bridge. So yeah, a really, really good sounding um, pickup. And between the neck and the bridge, my goodness, sorry about that. Between the neck and the bridge, which I like to do, you know, I like to always go from the bridge to the neck, back and forth. Those are my main selections. And then when you're in the clean tone, you know, position four comes into use. But, you know, going from the neck to the bridge is where a lot of guitar players, that's kind of their focus, you know. So now, um, on the distortion side, that's when we really highlight the um, the hot rails. You know, they really it really just accentuates a lot of the tonal properties of that pickup, the chopper. And I use the the Behringer Ultra Metal um, stomp pedal. It's not crazy expensive. You get them on Amazon for twenty five thirty bucks, but they're not heavily uh, saturated pedals where, you, where it picks up a lot of fuzz and fizzing. Uh, it's a very, um, you know, it's a, it's a very controlled sort of distortion pedal. Um, and I give credit to that, to that pedal. I mean, it, it is a lot of that tone. It's very tight. Um, it, it's just a very more controlled sort of distortion. You know, I'm sure there are better distortion pedals out there. I'm just saying, for the money, this has worked for me really, really well. And it sounds really, really good. And there are different variables and uh, adjustments you can make. Right now, my settings on this are, I'm about three quarters of the gain on this, and I've never really adjusted um, my uh, tone controls on that pedal. There is four tone controls on the Behringer Ultra Metal. But I keep it mild. You know, I don't ever crank that gain all the way up. I just, I've never utilized that gain all the way up on the ultra metal because I like to keep that distortion more controlled more tight and so I you know it's either you know a quarter of the way halfway or three quarters of the way I've never gone full blast on it so let's hear a little bit of that um, if you're wanting to know okay <laughs> That's a good, nice, tight distortion. Um, and I've tried boss pedals and stuff like that, but I think, you know, this Behringer Ultra Metal, you can tame that down and, and get it to be, you know, just like a blues driver. Um, you can crank it and get more uh, heavy distortions, but it's just not one of those distortions that have a lot of sizzle in there. You know, this is really, really, really... Um, <laughs> More focused.
don't even have, I have a mild delay in there. Now, if I was to add more delay, um, it would take a little bit of that texturing out and, you know, but it would give it more of that uh, heavy metal delay tone you might be looking for. tightness because the delay starts to kind of overshadow itself you know so you got to work with your tone uh, so in the neck position man it sounds really really good good balance between the neck and the bridge you know really nice <laughs> So you hear a little bit of that 60 cycle hum, but it's very mild. A lot of tone, and a lot of the time, I'm sorry, um, when you're playing, you know, you always kind of lean off on that volume when you're done, you know, noting. That's fully on. And that's 
a third of the way down, yeah. <coughs> I usually go right to my volume, especially when I'm in the neck pickup, just to uh, eliminate a lot of that uh, extra noise you don't want to hear. So yeah, if you invest your money in a good um, humbucker, like a like this one here, this DiMaggio chopper, I ordered directly from DiMaggio's website. This is a really good pickup. It's really well balanced. It's very tight. Um, it's not crazy, super, super hot, but it creates a lot of balance between single coil pickups, you know, and that's what you want. You want to have balance in your selection. You don't want to have one pickup that just totally jumps out way ahead of the other ones because you really hear it in your playing when you're selecting you know neck and bridge um you really want to have almost zero interference with that and that's kind of what you get with this hot rails um dimaggio humbucker right here it's really really nice and it just adds to the overall you know look of the guitar um i could have ordered it in, in another but you know i ordered this way way a long time ago i didn't I just got sick of it sitting in the box and figured I got to get this uh, I got to get this to use in some uh, guitar so that's the way it looks guys uh, let me know in your comments what do you think simple mods doesn't take a lot you just gotta double check your wiring sometimes after you get it all together you're not gonna be quite sure exactly how the wiring works out maybe you get it right the first time but it, don't feel bad if you have to go back in there or look on the website to uh, check out the wiring. Maybe there's a, like, according to the box, you know, the green should have been wired as hot, but according to the inter the website, um, they, they actually had a different configuration, uh, and that's the one I went off of, and it did fix the issue. And so I think I ended up with, uh, man, it sounds really great, a very enjoyable instrument, 2008 Fender Squire, simple mod, one humbucker, Timu pick guard, everything else is original to the guitar. And it sounds great, man. It's a great playing guitar. I, you know, and I got this for a steal. You know, it had a few little nicks, I guess, in the back. But since I came in with two guitars that are willing to work with me and give me two guitars, I walked in with two and walked out with you. I think I made out with this. This is a, this is a nice paint job on here. Really nice tight metallic dark blue and it really highlights this pig guard i wasn't quite sure what to do with that pig guard i thought you know well i don't know maybe on a white guitar i it was just kind of like i don't really know but this is kind of where we ended up with it and uh, i'm happy about it all right guys uh i will try to upload some other videos with some other content i think what i want to do next is I ordered um, some more humbuckers from Timu. I did try out a different set. I was happy with the results. This time I'm going to try a Hot Rails version of that from the same company. Um, they're, they're pretty heavy. They come wrapped in like the old fashioned ding dongs, the hostess ding dongs. Remember they came wrapped in foil. These actually come wrapped in foil. Um, but they are a five wire humbucker. And. Um, you know, so you can coil tap these two. Now, I've never tried these, but uh, this seems to be a pretty good product out of the Timu. 
um, website and uh, this one is the bridge and uh, they're waxed really well and um, um, they're pretty inexpensive I think I got these for less than 20 bucks uh, for both of them for the set neck and bridge so maybe I'm going to put them in the Firefly uh, I do have a Fender Squire I might put them in I haven't quite made it my choice as to what to do with these but um, they're they're good I mean they're a lot better than the um, Schecter pickups. I haven't quite figured out what to do with these. I took these out of the Schecter that I traded. They were just too dark, you know, and I wasn't quite sure what to do with them. I thought that they would be a better pickup, but they're very mid-rangey and they weren't very bright. And I'm not sure if this is the culprit, you know. I didn't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure that out. So this is a five-way selector and they were trying to split coil the humbuckers. I think I'm going to try a more traditional wiring uh, scheme with these to see if maybe that um, changes the, the tonal properties of this. Maybe these aren't good, um, you know, by coil splitting them. Maybe they're just good individually, but I didn't like them even in position in the bridge in the middle or the neck they were just kind of very dark they didn't have a lot of clarity they weren't they weren't very bright um so they do have adjustable pull pieces so these are kind of like i don't know they're called z plus neck and bridge but i didn't think i think the Schecter pickups were actually much better <laughs> for some reason i mean the timu pickups were actually much better than, than, than these ones. So, um, you know, pickups are just kind of those, one of those things. It's always just a hit or miss or whatever flavors is, is, is in your ear. You know, maybe some people like these. I don't really know. I mean, I, I wasn't a fan of them. I thought the ones from Timu, not these ones, but another set actually sounded better than these. They just were brighter and they had a, uh, the distortion response was more crispy and these were just very mid-rangey very bottom end heavy not a lot of clarity so I'm gonna try as an experiment to get them out of this configuration as a five-way and just try them as a simple three-way maybe that changes it I don't really know but uh, who knows Anyway, thanks for stopping in, guys. That's all I have to share today. Um, if you like this channel, if you'd like to see more of this, just let me know. Um, I got a lot of guitars, and um, I'm just going to try to upload and kind of share my experiences as of lately um, by doing some simple mods, pick up, you know, changing out some pickups on a, on a few of my guitars. But other than that, I got a, a lot of guitars, and so maybe I'll upload one, you know, doing Jammy to a backing track. I just recently did a, a backing track to this one. I got this out of uh, San Marcos Guitar Center, not San Marcos, Marino Valley. Uh, I didn't know it, but it sounded like this was a DiMaggio, and it was, and that was good. And I got it pretty cheap, too. Um, a really nice guitar. I'm using the Pickguard. I got from a Firefly and I'm kind of not digging it. I, I like it's more gray than it is black. Uh, I would like to get one that's that's more black than gray. Um, and not, not only that, but it has the cutout for the Firefly, which, you know, it, it doesn't look bad at all, but uh, it's got a great neck. It's, you know, it's just a solid player. It's got a big block in the back. Um, it's, it's a really nice heavy guitar, alder body. And uh, I did put some new saddles on there, you know, simple, simple mod, but uh, it had a Wilkinson bridge. I think maybe I just changed out the whole bridge. <laughs> Sometimes at 61, I'm a little forgetful, but yeah, I think I, I swapped out the whole bridge. So the whole bridge yeah, has the big block in there. Yeah, that, I think that's what I did. So you know brings a little bit more sustain out on the strings um but this thing has ceramic pickups too and they sound great i'll do another video with this or i'm not sure if i did or didn't yet um but this thing sounds good and i think i added um some dimaggio pots on this 
you know, uh, DiMaggio from the website, they have uh, higher end pots, CTS potentiometer pots. And sometimes, you know, even with the treble bleed, they, they have a really nice looking treble bleed uh, pot that they sell on their website with really nice tiny micro capacitors that don't get in the way um, when you're trying to solder them in. I, I think they're like 12 bucks, but really nice capacitors um, from DiMaggio. And so I might do another video in regards to this uh, Mexican fender here, the Strat. This is a really nice Strat, man. And this DiMaggio is, is a bonus. So I was really happy with this purchase. Nice maple neck and stuff like that. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out, and have a blessed day. Take care.